Hey guys, Lethal Isley here, and today we have another section of the hidden gems to get through. We have 12 to go through today, and it is the downtown section of the map. So let's crack straight into it. So the first place you're going to need to travel to start this one off is to the downtown north fast track location. So travel there, and I'm going to run you to this first hidden gem from here. Funny enough, this actually isn't even inside the downtown area, but it's okay because it's just inside the line here where we need to travel. So once you've gone here, I'm going to run you now in game where the first hidden gem is. So obviously here is the fast track right next to us and we need to run down this way. And once you've jumped up here then, you need to open up this door and to my disgust, I'm not strong enough to open it. So I don't even get to claim whatever, whatever is in this first hidden gem, unfortunately. Um, but it definitely is in here, I promise you that. I'm sure some of you will be able to get in here anyway and find out what's in there so you can let me know in the comment section down below if you want to. That's number one anyway, let's move on to the next one. So next up we have two and three together here for you, so this is quite a hard tag now. You want to zoom in and there's just a littlest bit of road, see I'll move it for a second, see this littlest bit of road just in here? That is the perfect tag for this area, if you can get that tag that's what you need. So look at this bridge, look at this bridge and then just look in between these buildings for that little bit of road for your tag. Now let me go and show you where I am in game, that's where the tag will be down there, you want to run down here and come straight up these stairs until you see this night city greenhouse area thing over here and we want to head into the greenhouse area and straight up the stairs all the way around and when you get to the top you're going to see this is the first hidden gem so then from here you need to obviously go straight back down Out through the front door, take a left, jump straight off here, don't die now, no we're good. And we need to go straight into this area right here. We are strong enough to get in here, which is nice. Alright, we're in. <laughs> and in here you're going to find the next hidden gem down here. It's a, ooh, it's quite a nice blade. Let's move on to the next one. And again, I am going to just run you straight over because this area is so dense. It makes it hard to like put a good tag down. You need to run straight through the tunnel, come out of that place, take a left, take another left and go straight through the tunnel. Then cross over. And then take a right down here. You can actually open this if you have the strength or the uh, technical ability even. I personally don't, so I'm going to have to climb over. And this is the next hidden gem. Number four, some pretty nice stuff. Let's go and find number five. For number five, you're gonna need to put a marker where I've put one now. It's by the fixer and by a drop box. It's just the road down here. Obviously, we don't need to be on the roads that are up high. We need to be down on the street level road. Let me zoom out so you can see where that is. And I'll zoom back in. And yeah, that's where you're gonna to need to put your marker for this one. And that marker is right there. So it's right next to us and we are on the right side of the road. Let's. Go, where are the stairs? Ah, here they are. Uh, yeah, and these are the stairs we're looking to go up now. So let's go and find the next hidden gem. We can actually see it from here. This is the gem there, but we I'm going to show you how to get around to it, obviously. Simple stuff, really. And here's the hidden gem. And what's nice about this one is you've got these two guys here, but don't miss the actual guy that's in here, because I think he has the best stuff. <laughs> Pretty cool gem. Let's move on to the next one. So we have two more now for you. We have six and seven. We're going to do both of them together. What you need to do is come to Skyline and Republic Fast Track location. And I'm going to run you to them from here. So once you're here, we'll be able to get going. So this is the Fast Track location that you're looking for. This is the surroundings. And we're going to be running straight past this big yellow truck here. You know, it's a road cleaner. And then when you get by the water, what you need to do is just take a left and go up here towards this metal gate. And unfortunately for us, it's another metal gate we can't open. Where is it? Here, it's force 12 needed. But we're in luck because the side's open. So if you're not force 12, you can still get in here and get the goodies, which is mainly this lady right here. She has a legendary item on her, which is awesome. I think that might be the first one we found. Maybe the second, I can't remember. But yeah, that's the first of the two anyway. We're going to jump back out and head to the next one now. Just head back the way you came to start with. And the funny thing about this one is it was actually nowhere near where it actually said on the um, 
on the map I was looking for. So I've just been scrambling, looking looking around for this one, trying to find it. I think I've taken the long way around here. But it's okay. We'll, we'll make our way. We'll make our way. Take a right at the end. Oh, no. This is the way, I think. Yeah. And then just down this alleyway, you need to look for this with the uh, sign here. You know you're in the right place. And there's a couple of ladders we need to climb here now. That's the first one. And there we go. This is number seven on the Hidden Gems list. We have plenty more to go, so let's get cracking. For number eight on the list, go back to Skyland and Republic fast track location. And I'm going to walk you from there. It's literally just back here. Really easy one to find. So come back to this fast track. And as you can see, we're back here now. And you just want to turn around and run up the stairs that are behind us. And when you get to the end here, you just need to jump over this fence. What? I've just taken fall damage to die there for nothing. This game is mad at times. It does happen from time to time. You take fall damage that you really shouldn't. But okay, let's reload. Okay, we're back. Hopefully this time we're not just going to die a horrible death when we jump over here. Nope. There we go. We're fine. And the body we're looking for is inside this crate. Qu quite a sinister one, really. Not too much honor, but this is number eight on the hidden gems list. Let's move on to number nine. And again, we're going to go back to Skyline and Republic, the fast track area. This seems to be like a hub for the hidden gems in the area. And yeah, so once you've come back here, follow me from here now. We're going back this way. And this one really is close. Just under here. Then we take a right down here and you're just looking for these like bits of scaffolding. We need to get up there. We do. Just start climbing on these to get on top of... Um, this balcony then on the balcony you're gonna find the next hidden gem which is actually just this box which has a legendary component in it that's sick it has legendaries epics and rares usually I don't see uh, show them but you know that's awesome I love I love components but number 10 on the list you need to come to gold beach marine that's the fast track location you need to come to and it is just up the road from where we've been it's Skyland and Republic there and if you just Go down here a little bit, you'll see Gold Beach Marine. So come to this location, I'm going to run you to the next hidden gem. And this is what the surroundings look like. And we're kind of going back towards the one we've just come from down here. But we're actually going to go down these stairs because this is where the hidden gem is. And there's a bat here on the floor, which is pretty cool. Baseball bat, which is rare, but that's not the, not the hidden gem. The hidden gem is a bit further down here. On this body, you can see there's two nice items on him. That's number 10. Let's move on to number 11. So same routine as the last one now. Go back to Gold Beach Marine for this one. And I'm going to run you again from here. But obviously, we've just come back up there to here. And this time, we need to just go down the stairs that are right behind the fast track area. And run towards the water. When you get over here, what you're looking for is a truck that's submerged in the water there. And you want to jump down and loot the driver. That is hidden gem number 11. Let's move on to the final one for this video. So for the last fast track, you need to come to Helsey and MLK. Or I don't know what that milk. Something like that. Um, this is the last fast track you need to come to. So it's by this circle again. If you zoom in, you can see it's just this building here. If you come near this area, you'll... See the fast track, you'll be able to run from the same area as me. So I'm literally right on the fast track right now. It's up top on a few roads. You, you don't actually need to be up top. We are going to be heading down this way now. But we can start from up here just for clarity. So let's head to the final gem. And then the final gem is in this car here. There's a body to loot in this car. But for us, it's not there for some reason. It's strange. Okay. What's the other thing on this? What? The car just literally just spawned a man and blew up there. I was literally here like, what? Um, okay, I thought I was thinking I, I'm going to have to look at the guides here. There's something not right. The body's supposed to be here. The gem's supposed to be here. Um, I've obviously missed something because usually I check if there's a mission you've got to do. 
This has been a mad one, this. There's been some strange stuff happened. I'm just turning around, I'm chilling, I'm just, like, I'm thinking, obviously, that, that take's gone. I'm not going to use that now. Um, and there you go. He's here. There's nothing to loot on him. I'm going to go and do a little run around and come back to him, guys, see if we can find something to loot on this body. Okay, I've just come back now. There's no guy in there. What is going on with this thing? Where's my loot? Well, this is just turning out into a very weird, weird area. There's no car here at all now. Um, I just I f fast tracked somewhere else. I skipped time twice, and now the car has just disappeared completely. Great. Well, I'm going to leave this one there anyway. This is the spot. You've seen the car, so you know it's going to be here. Let me know what's in this car. If you if you actually get the loot out of the car, let me know what was in the car in the comment section down below. I'd appreciate to know if it's worth definitely coming back for or not. Um, I can't get it to spawn. I've tried saving and things like that. It's not happening for me. Uh, yeah, so that's all 12 for this section anyway. We're going to obviously be cracking on with some of the other sections. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, as always. And take it easy.